items that we're going to be using today to make these soup sandwiches. Y'all tune in, man. Let's get it. Hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing. You gonna get it. Next time I see you, you're gonna leave airlifted. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. Welcome back to another episode of K Frog TV. Today it's, you know, prison meals with K Frog. Y'all go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Today I'm gonna be going ahead and making some, uh, you know, soup sandwiches. Some people call them a prison swole sandwich. You know, they may call them something different elsewhere. But here in the state of Florida, we call these soup sandwiches. So y'all tune in and I'm going to break it down for y'all step by step. Let's go. All right, y'all. So here we go. Today we're going to be using chicken. First thing you want to do is make sure you have you some heated water and ready to go. Take this out the microwave. As y'all see, I have my water right here. Place this to the side out of the way while we get this shit in rotation. All right. Now, you know, a lot of people, you know, usually bust it open when they eat it. You know, they, they bust the whole wrapper in after they heat the soup up and everything. I'm going to be showing y'all how to do it like that, along with the way I like to do it. Well, you basically, you want to peel around and um, try to open the side where the noodle is split like this. All right. Go ahead and get this package out of the way. Let's do this one, too. You know, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. You know, if anything, you just take the noodle out and turn it around the other way. All right. So as you see, I got them both like that. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and add your water to them. All right. The water don't need to be in there for that long. Just enough to cook the noodle. All right. Literally, you can go like this. And you can literally just wait. Say... 20 seconds you can count the 20 in your head it all depends on how you like your noodle because once you take the water out it is still going to be cooking the noodle all you had to do is wet it with that hot water like right now i could take it out right now okay so i'm going to get a bowl and then i'll get this cup right here about a boom and then i'm going to drain the water out like this just like that boom now y'all see drain the water out yeah i spilled it a little bit but who cares it's k for all tv we do what we want to do all right boom go ahead dump it in the sink now what i like to do is i like to put the finger in between it so you separate the noodles like that all right now you just close it and you let it sit to the side all right Let's go ahead and add the water to this next one. Do the same thing with this one. And it's crazy because before I went to prison, I swore I ate ramen noodles any kind of way. Whether it was raw, I grew up eating them like chips with the powder uh, season on it or without the season. Just straight raw noodles. I've ate them in goulages. I've ate them however many ways you could think of. When I finally got to prison, I finally realized and finally came across the soup sandwich. And then that is like one of the ways that everybody eats it in prison. So, y'all just bear with me. And I'm going to show you both the ways how you bust it open and how you don't bust it open. All right? So, let's do it. Go ahead and drain this one right here. Do the same thing, split the noodle, boom, close it like that. All right. Now for the first one, I'm going to just be adding some mayonnaise, some cheese, some pepperonis, you know, some pickles and some Doritos. That's going to be the first one that we end up doing today. Get this extra water up real quick. And these are the ingredients that I just decided to get today. You could do it any type of way you want. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's all on what it is you like and how you want to do it. All right. So now let's go ahead and what you want to do is you want to make sure you didn't cook it too long because the longer you cook it, the flimsier the noodles get. All right. And of course, you don't want it like that because then it starts falling apart on you and everything. And it's hard for you to hold open and eat. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and bust this bag open. Which this is how a lot of people do it with the soup sandwich. They bust the bag open like this. And then, voila. See how that just flipped open like that? Like a piece of bread? 
That's going to be your bread today right there. Them two pieces is your bread. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some mayonnaise, some cheese. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter what it is you want to add to it. It's all on you. It's your soup sandwich. If you want to add hot sauce, add hot sauce. You want to add chicken, you can add chicken. You want to add pork chop, you can go ahead and throw some pork chop in there. It's all on you. Whatever you want to do. Me, I like a lot of mayonnaise, so I'll put two scoops of mayonnaise on there like that. Move this over here to the side. Let me go ahead and put some of this seasoning on first. You know, the seasoning adds a lot to it too. My favorite soup that I like to use when it comes to stuff like this is normally a hot and spicy one. Just because it gives it a little kick. But today I didn't have hot and spicy. So we'll deal with what we have. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this cheese right here. You don't really need that much cheese because that cheese does go a long way. Mix this cheese on here like this. Bada boom. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my pepperonis that I got right here. Which in prison, you know, we use summer sausage. You use beef and cheese sticks. You use, you know, um, beef stew, chili. You can put on there whatever you want to put on there. But today... You know, I'm going to go ahead and use some pepperoni. So you put the pepperoni on there like this. Give you a nice layer. If you want to double layer it, you can double layer it. You know, you got, I, I, I got shredded cheese in the fridge. I can put shredded cheese on there too if I wanted to. But today I don't want to. So I'm just going to go like that. That's enough for them. Add my pickles. Which y'all know pickles are one of the main things that go on like everything. So I add my couple of pickle chips. And like I said, man, this is a soup sandwich. Can't go wrong with it. So there's my pickle chips. And I'm gonna be using Doritos. You can crush them up if you want to, but we ain't gonna crush them up this time. We're gonna put them on there just like that. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want this to go ahead and be ready to eat. And then look, you put this over here like that. There you go. There's one soup sandwich. We're going to do a taste test after I finish this one. So we'll move this one right over here to the side. Let y'all see it on display while we finish this one. Okay. Now this one here, like I said, you kind of use it as a pocket. Those ones seem to get messy while you eat it. You cook it to where it's like this in the bag. You can literally open it up when you squeeze it like this from the side. And then you could just stuff it. Like for instance, I'm going to go ahead and use mayonnaise on this one. All right. So go like this, get some mayo. Then you put it in here and it's easier to put along the walls because it's, it's up against, you know, it's easier to get it in there like that. You know, go ahead and paint both walls paint this one white like that i'll paint this other wall yellow then i'll add some of my seasoning and for this one here i'm going to be throwing in some pickles and some cheese so now that i have it like this you see you got one wall that's yellow one wall that's white and to me it's easier like this all right and i'm going to show you why in one second let me go ahead and add this seasoning I really like to do the tuna one, though, y'all. I like to do the tuna one with the beef seasoning, but, you know, I don't I don't have the beef right now. As you see, we're, we're working with what we got at the moment, okay? And now, I'm going to go ahead and get this tuna already drained because tuna is a main thing that, you know, you use in prison. If people say they don't, they lying. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they didn't use it, but trust me, it is definitely something that is used a lot in prison. It's one of the easiest things. Put some mayonnaise in here like this. Look at that big old soup sandwich sitting right there. All right, and like I said, it don't matter how you make it. It's all on your feel of what you like. Okay, whip that tuna up like that. 
course, I'm going to add some pickles to it because it's only right when you're eating tuna. Put some pickles down in there. Like that. And I'm telling you, man, you cannot go wrong with a soup sandwich. Alrighty. And then we're going to grab this same soup right here. Our little pocket that is all seasoned up on the sides and everything. And we're going to fill it with this tuna. All right, drop it in there little by little. And the reason you do it like this is, like I said, it's just a whole lot easier. Once you get it in there, it's, it's, it's easier because it, it holds the noodles open. All righty. Got a little bit on the rim, but it's okay. Boom. Now look at that. Look how I shoved all the tuna in there so it's holding the noodles open for us. Okay? Now what I'm going to do to top it off is I got some sour cream and cheddar ruffles. These I would shred. Okay? Just due to the fact that it's going inside the top of the soup sandwich. So then you go ahead and go like this. Fill it up a little bit. Push it down in there. And that's going to be your, 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 you know, your, your top part. The part that's going to make it to where it's easier to stick together. And then we're going to go ahead and let this sit. It's going to actually lock up like that. Wow. We go ahead and we take a couple bites of this big boy right here, all right? So, as y'all see, this is what that big boy came out like. Now, let's dig in. We're going to go ahead and bite into this big bad boy. Of course, you want to use the, you know, the wrapper to hold it up for you and everything. But as you see, this is our final thing. You got the, the, the soup, which is, you know, basically your bread when you eat a soup sandwich. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy a big old bite. Mm-hmm. Just brings back memories. Now, you can also do this with peanut butter and jelly. You leave the season pack out of it. You heat your noodles up, like I said, and you put peanut butter on one side, jelly on the other side. And it tastes perfectly just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This one's fire. I'm not sitting here and eat the whole thing. But I'll go ahead and jump on to the next one. Because I'm eating healthy right now. But today can be a cheap meal. All right, so that's it for that one. Now this one here, like I said, they can get messy. This one here, you're not going to have that problem due to the fact that it locks up like this in the bag. Look at this. Look at that. Look how it's like a, a pocket. And then when you, if you don't feel like eating it all, you just let it fall right back into the bag. This bag will keep it from making a mess. You just slide it up anytime you want to bite. And this one right here is the tuna one. You know, we put tuna, mayonnaise, cheese, um, sour cream and cheddar, ruffles, pickles, the whole nine. Now I'm going to bite into this one. Here we go. Mm-hmm. See how it stays together? That's basically how you want it. You can make it like that, but why when you can make it like this and it's easier on the go? You know how many of these I had to make in prison? I can't even count how many of these I've ate in my life. But this is one thing, when they call you for a call out, whether you got to go to medical or work or, or school in prison, this is how they're going to make it. They're not going to make it like that with the bag ripped open so they got to worry about it. They're going to make it just like this inside of this wrapper. Easy to go. Easy to bring with you. And this one fire too with the tuna. Mm-hmm. So, 
Don't knock them till you try it. You may not agree with the ingredients I use. I just tried to use actual ingredients from prison. Now, you can put whatever you want on here. We brought back hot dogs from the child hall. We brought back patties, chicken on chicken days, fill it with rice from the child hall, however you want to do it. There's 101 ways to do it. You could put a damn can of raviolis in this shit. Chef Boardi. You could put beef stew. Spam. Slices of spam. Vienna sausages. Whatever you want to put. It's however you like it. You feel me? It's your stomach. It's your taste buds. Just make sure you do it right. You feel me? But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all tune in. I got an exclusive cooking video coming up. Maybe in the next week or so. But I'll have videos on the meantime, you know, throughout that. But I do have an exclusive cooking video come up. I appreciate y'all watching. This is how we make soup sandwiches in Florida. Y'all know this is k Frog TV. And all my healthy eaters out there, you know, everybody who may be on a diet like me, just remember, it's all right to have a cheat day every once in a while. Mm-hmm.